Hi guys and on stage from Cole's Boutique here and this is episode 6 of how to build your own one piece one of a kind guitar using relatively basic tools. Today it's gonna be a short video, we're gonna measure and mark and drill the positioning of the bridge. So what we have here is a barricade that I placed inside the nut slot over here. This will help me place my nice ruler on a zero point and measure exactly the position of the bridge. Now this guitar is 648 millimeters scale and usually for intonation the breaking point of the first high E string is 649 millimeters which is just one millimeter above the measured scale and for the bass end it would be about should be about three millimeters even further than this so i have this ruler here with already made markings from previous guitar that i made so i know that if i place the bridge Accordingly, it should be perfect. See this mark here? This is exactly where the E string is supposed to be. And I'll do the same for the bass end. looks perfect to me. So what we'll do right now, we'll use some sticky tape. Like so. And now we have a nice footprint. We can place the bridge every time we want to and just move on the other axis like so. Now I'll reintroduce the center line and mark it so I'll have it nicely visible on the tape. Now I have to make sure that this bridge is perpendicular to the center line. Why and how is it important? Well, these are roller saddles and although some companies place their bridges at a tilt, I would prefer it to be in a uh, 90 degree angle because I would really want the strings to go as straight as possible over these rollers. This will make the guitar uh, more stable and it won't go out of tune as, uh, as less friction is created over here. So I'm using my 90 degree angle here and just check that everything is perfect. And it's awesome. Everything is awesome. So I'll place the bridge here and now we'll work on this axis for perfect installation. Now we need to establish the correct placing on this axis. So I'm using my straight edge to place the bridge and I'll measure the distance between the outer strings and the outer edge of the fretboard and I want it to be as centered as possible with a tiny 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 increase for the treble side because this is a string these, uh, this is a string that people tend to bend a lot you might need just a tiny bit more space than the edge.
I've measured this now a million times and I'm quite confident and happy with the result. So I'll use my sticky tape, like so, to make sure that everything is fastened to its position. Hooray! Awesome! Place this back, it sits perfectly inside this footprint. Now what I'll do is make sure my measurements are correct again because we measure like a million times, but drill and cut just once. This is amazing and this is absolutely perfect. It's time to mark the holes. So I have this drill bit here with a pointy end. Using my hammer. That's it. And the same on the other side. Just a tiny marking. like so. This point and this point, make sure that the holes we just made are perfect and it seems to be great. Now we can use these holes to drill the holes for the pins. Be using this pointer and Use my caliper to measure the width and depth of the holes needed. This is 6.5 millimeters and we're gonna drill 6.5 millimeter holes and the depth now for these furls or whatever they called um, is about 11 uh, millimeters but because we're gonna route and change things in this body the depth is gonna change as well so right now all I want to do is just make sure that our holes are 6.5 or 6.6 um, to insert these when we need to. We're using this less trim system by Duesenberg for our tailpiece and tremolo. And well, I can actually place it wherever I want. I don't like it too close, like the Gibson guitars, and I don't want it too far. So I'm kind of eyeballing it to a nice distance that's comfortable to me. I usually place uh, tail pieces just a little bit further away than what the Gibson guitars uh, used to do because I like the high frequencies of these strings over here. So I'm using the, the same center line like so. I'm quite comfortable with this distance. And this is very inaccurate and I'll accurate it right now. All 
right. I can place these holes onto the center line and mark the positioning of these holes like so. Now we just have to measure that the distances are accurate. And I'm very happy with the result. And we're gonna drill these holes right now. This is an 11 millimeter drill bit. And this is the end of this episode. Now you know exactly how to drill and measure your own bridge on your guitar. Of course, this is a tunomatic style bridge, but this is how it is made. Of course, when this guitar is finished, you can see it all uh, installed on it. But until then, subscribe, share, like, and comment and stuff. Later.